In all four corners of the world, commando courses are held to prepare the best soldiers for the toughest combat. For several weeks, day and night, the soldiers must overcome extraordinary trials. In sweltering heat, without much sleep or food. The aim of the setup for assault elements and Popolima Oscar. Nighttime infiltration, fort assaults and guerrilla neutralization are all on the agenda. Not to mention exfiltrating the wounded and negotiating vertiginous obstacles. Relentlessly, these men must learn to cope with extreme situations in order to eliminate enemies and return safely. One of the toughest courses in the world begins in the Amazon rainforest of French Guiana, in the heart of the Green Hell. The Jaguar Course For several weeks now, these soldiers from various countries have been undergoing demanding physical and tactical exercises, their goal. To pass this extreme training course, and then join the elite units of their respective countries. Thomas, 22, is a young sergeant from Belgium. He challenged himself to go beyond his own limits in a tropical environment. The Guyanan jungle imposes enormous constraints on military action. Difficulty of movement, extreme humidity, and reduced visibility. For these men, these are the last tests in French Guiana. Simulation of the day, confronting gorillas hidden in the jungle. Alpha, you tag the trap and we'll resume our progression. Bravo, you leapfrog 15 meters forward, ready to go on on command. The area is mined, and Thomas is sent to the front line to try and clear it up. But he is soon eliminated, hit by a blank bullet. End of game for the Belgian. Prior to this day, Thomas and the others had spent more than a month and a half, undergoing the tests of the Jaguar training course, the toughest course in the French army. During this unique training program, the candidates know that they are going to suffer. Reserved for the most hardened soldiers, whether from the special forces or the regular army, they learn to get around, find their bearings and survive in the tropical jungle in very degraded conditions. They followed grueling training sessions such as the legendary Peccary Trail, an obstacle course through mud, roots and barbed wire. But when fatigue sets in, vigilance wanes. Tested to the limit, this action phase forges the spirit of aspiring commandos. Of the 42 trainees who started this session, only 32 will remain. At the end of this course, inaccessible to ordinary mortals, they will obtain the precious achievement of jungle section leader. Welcome to the legendary French army barracks in French Guiana, the CEFE. -E. Here we meet the trainees who have successfully completed the hardening phase. They must now prepare for the final stage, an intense week of assault and tactical operations in the Caribbean. Jaguar 2023 training course for 32 trainees. Trainee number one, trainee of the day, take your orders, instructors. Okay, here are the sequences for preparing to leave for Martinique. The backpack, is it ready yet? Then you have a three-day ration in your rucksack. 
You have the ammunition you have. Dispatch is to bring back your weaponry. At this point, you've got water, you've got a few pouches to take water for a minimum of four or five liters. Then we'll separate, you'll leave right away, okay. Over 20 nationalities are represented here. Among these elite soldiers, Thomas, the Belgian army sergeant, finishes packing his bag. Everything is calculated and weighed as much as possible. Unfortunately, that's what gives the most trouble here. Here it's the humidity and heat that make it difficult. After that, we often use rivers as a means of transport, as an itinerary, etc. So we often get our feet wet, and that's what makes our feet rot. In Martinique, I don't know how it's going to work out, plus it's salt water, so it's not so good for the body, but we'll see. And the muesli? 350. If you take 200, that's 700. If you take two for a meal, because two makes four. Survival ration, water and armaments, a total load of over 40 kilograms per person. Come on, we're going to load up, but motivated, the last straight so it's going to be okay. I was really apprehensive about injury, about being bitten by an animal. We're a little exposed to all the dangers of the forest here. This morning, the soldiers are heading for Kuru Airport to board a plane for troop transport in areas with sketchy airstrips. After several weeks of hard physical training, the trainees take advantage of the trip to get a few hours sleep before landing in Martinique, in the Caribbean islands. No time to settle in. As soon as they arrive, they embark on an infiltration mission by water. The flight went off without a hitch, and here we are, ready to get into the kayaks, and in two minutes we'll be on the kayak level, changing environment, and then off for the night infiltration in kayaks to Oscar 5. The kayak set off to scout around an island. They'll have to infiltrate undetected. Zodiacs come to the rescue. Their mission is to create a diversion to secure the area and allow the rest of the troops to disembark. Come on. Come on. He said fire. Do you understand fire or not? In addition to the darkness and unfamiliar terrain, the language barrier between the different nationalities complicates the operation. Did you learn that at the shooting range? No, you didn't learn that. On the shoulder, go on, shoot, reload, shoot. Once they've reached the shore, they'll have to walk several kilometers with their equipment. To reach a fort high up on the island, where militiamen are lying in ambush. Ten men are ready to face them in this labyrinth in the middle of the jungle. The challenge of the fort requires precision, coordination and surpassing yourself. These qualities are indispensable in all theaters of operation. C'est ça, là il y a une piste. On va aller avec eux. Ouais. Ok. 
Okay, 100% of the setup goals for Assault Elements and Popolima Oscars, over. de l'appui 100% début de la mise en place pour éléments d'assaut et Popolima Oscar. Parlez. The trainees approach the combat zone. One of them has to go on reconnaissance. Two rooms that look completely empty, hi, not many rooms. I didn't see anyone in particular. To the right, 15 meters away, there's what looks like a toilet latrine and chute. First shot in the distance. Okay, go, 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 go. Stress rises a notch, but the first building turns out to be empty. Now they have to enter the fort and make contact to destroy the enemy. The first casualty, but the column has to keep moving despite the risks. Okay, on y va. The fort consists of spiral courtyards. To clear the area, the attackers have to split into two groups. Come on, come on. Go, 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 Thanks to the training they have undergone over the past few weeks, the soldiers are cool-headed. Under psychological pressure, we need to bring our automatizations into play. Export, export, export. Okay, I'm going to On this side. Okay, let's get on with it. Hey, un press over here. Matin, y a des blessés. 
Is anyone hurt? Where is it? The assault is brutal, the enemy is annihilated, but the section has one wounded by a plaster grenade. At the end of the game, he has the right to stand up. Thomas reunites with his comrades. When we got here we got caught in a funnel, kind of ambushed. So we had a wounded man because I was thrown by a grenade, wounded in both legs, we had to treat it, and in the process, we assaulted the whole fort. So it's a loop unfortunately. Without losing allied personnel and we recovered this enemy person in position. Here, we're going to pick up a bag for the rest of the activities, starting with a quick debriefing of the action to help us improve. Trainees take stock of their equipment, and then enjoy a few hours respite in bivouac mode by the sea. A short-lived break. Later that night, they were awakened for a night walk lasting several hours. Some soldiers are beginning to show their limits. We've been on the course for six weeks, and it's been five weeks since we've had a break or a break at all. So the state of tiredness is really starting to show, close to the edge of survival as we've had a lot of walking. So people began to know how to die a little, you might say. So it's a bit complicated with fatigue states. There are some who don't say no to what they can do, and those who can do something more, they do it and bring it on themselves. Third day of island immersion. The soldiers have slept, and can eat. After a night's march, they have to storm a base in the early hours of the morning. The pressure is constant for its soldiers. They mustn't break down, and keep their wits about them, not only to complete their mission, but also to get home. No room for error. Their lives are in their own hands, but so is that of the rest of the group. Hey, let's go! Someone on the casualty! The area is cleared, but this time there are two wounded who have to be treated and exfiltrated using whatever means available. A classic design to teach how to extract from a combat zone as quickly as possible, and to reinforce team spirit under pressure. The men take turns carrying the injured and their equipment. Not far from 80 kilograms on his back, he collects the bags of the groups who are looking after the wounded. As they haven't had time to pick up their bags, we take them instead and bring them back. But the game's not over yet. A big surprise awaits the trainees. They now have to cross a vertical rock peak to get out of trouble. 
We'll be climbing with a helper on the wall. It won't be easy. One hand will be shaking on the rock and the other is changing the carabiner. So here we simulate an exfiltration by climbing and via ferrata, which is a means of climbing a rock with pre-installed aids. And if we're going to perform with jacket, guns and backpack, normally, this is something you try to do with a gun and a jacket maybe, not a rucksack. So here, we're going to do it with a rucksack, and see how it goes. It's likely to be quite physical, quite complicated with the few days we've just spent without having had time to recuperate. So we'll see how it goes, and we'll try to do the best we can for the sack of injured. Helmet on the head, backpack, and off we go. They'll have to climb a 70-meter high cliff, encumbered with their ever-heavy packs. A litmus test for his apprentice commandos. Everything already. The ascent in as much as 32 degrees, but on arrival, no one was injured and no one left behind. The course continues for the 32 men. Once past the rock peak, a final test awaits. During the night, the trainees are kidnapped and sequestered in a damp cellar 6 meters underground. For almost 10 hours, they are regularly sprayed with water, with bags over their heads to simulate the extreme conditions of imprisonment as closely as possible. At the end of the night, the captives must escape. but they are totally disoriented by the hours spent in the dark. To free themselves, they must find their way under constant pressure through a maze of obstacles without light. Our infrared camera helps us understand what they're going through. One last rope ladder. And finally, the soldiers will be able to enjoy the open air again. They can breathe a sigh of relief. For Thomas, it's almost the end of the ordeal. So there we were after a few hours of capture and guarding with this on our heads, not knowing exactly where we were. We knew we had a window to escape. So we set off on an escape route in the dark, where we had to do certain things on command in order to escape and find a way back to the friendly party. The course was pretty great. 
So a lot of stuff takes place in confined spaces. So if you're a bit claustrophobic, if you get caught up in stress or pressure, you can quickly panic. So you have to stay calm, stay focused and see it through to the end. In a few days' time, Thomas and the other trainees will receive the forestry specialist badge stamped with a Jaguar. A passport to the elite units, and a lasting memory in his military career.